This truck here is an absolute blast. It's a 1972 Chevrolet C10 short bed. It's been lowered. Got the factory 350. Great truck. Runs good. Everybody has to ask you a question about it. What year? That sort of thing. It's a blast to drive. Nice shiny new paint within the last six months or so. It's been lowered. Short bed. I'm going to go around once here and show you the truck in general. And then I'm going to go up close and show you any minor imperfections or anything like that. I get a lot of these kind of muscle and unique classic and Euro cars. Check out my channel here and subscribe. I always have lots of cool and unique stuff. Coming up close on it, there just ain't much to complain about. Um, I'm sure you could justify doing something with the grill. It's shiny, it's nice, it's fairly straight. It's just original. Um, that blue would pop if you had a new grill. Um, the bumper, great condition. Show you underneath. I don't know much on this. It's got the Camaro driveline, not driveline, um, steering wheel. And I don't know if they converted something on this or if that's how it came. Um, I was told that when they lowered it and stuff, they probably converted this to a um, Camaro type front end thing, subframe. I don't know how to tell. I'm going to say no, and then if it is, you know, you got something special for extra, for free. Paint just sits there wet as can be. You got to carry a towel with you, it's so wet. And um, wheels, they're really kind of nice. Have a couple lug nuts off on the truck. There's two, three, four, five missing. I'm replacing them. I just got them in. Wheel wells are just nice as can be. Like I say, underneath the truck, just a great little California rig. It has that look, man. It looks beautiful. Um, the bed is in good condition. I'm going to go ahead and lower the tailgate here and get up in here. I want to show you something. I'm sure you're going to find a little skim of Bondo type fiberglass filler in here. You can see from right here just little pecker dent things you get on the truck inside outside the bed. Just the way they were made. They were never straight anyways but they covered up that kind of stuff in here. It is straight. It looks good. Truthfully, put a rhino liner over it, it looked great. Um, only rust on the truck. It's like right here. A couple pieces around this where they all get it there. That's starting. And then I wanted to show you in the back here, I believe they welded in a piece there and a piece there. So probably rust behind the rear wheels a little bit and they took care of that. Um, it's just a clean rig, as you can tell. Just nice, clean. They welded something on there. Probably was, had a bad part on it and they cut it out and welded in a good part. It's as nice as can be. You're gonna absolutely love it. Everybody wants to talk to you about it. It's how it's supposed to look with the cap on it. Wheel wells are nice and clean. It's just a good rig. A little spot there that's thin on the paint. A little spot there that's thin. Um, you know, there's a little drip, run, kind of thing, right? I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm being very picky here. Um, little door ding type thing. Um, this here needs a little adjustment. Um, after you open it, it doesn't set all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you. 
have to excuse my camera view here. Under the hood is beautiful. Nice, clean, just like it should be factory. Not all molested and tore up. I'm going to show you up close here on everything. This is 100% how I got the truck. Um, a little overspray on the wires there. Looked like they sprayed a little extra on the motor and just kind of hit the wires on accident. You can see they got the fender well back there a little bit. Just a clean rig. Nice, clean, nothing to be ashamed of anywhere on this truck. Look at the springs even pop it back up a little after you let off. It's a tight rig. It's hard to close with the camera. It's either too hard or too soft. That's what she said. So I'm going to show you inside. There is a crack in the windshield here. I'll show you from the inside. It's probably a little easier for you to see it. Door panels. Beautiful. Carpet brand new. You know... I don't know if they replaced these or not. It looks like they've been replaced. I guess they could just be really good factory ones. Um, like I say, the carpet's all new, seat's all new. This thing's been redone. Um, I don't know what you'd want as a headliner. That's how I like them, just the metal roof. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, oh, the rear view mirror, as you see, is missing there. And I have it here. Don't know if it's a factory one, but it's what was in it. And the antenna on the other side is missing. And I do have a chunk of that here. So, that's that. Other than that, the dash, oh my goodness. They must have put a brand new dash pad because there's not a crack or anything like that in it. It reads 10644, likely 110 or more. Um, I would think 110. The truck is just tight. Um, there's your, I think it's a Camaro type wheel. I don't know what all they converted in this type of drive. Um, man, I can never think about what it's called. Steering column. There you go, on the front end. Okay, I'm going to fire her up for you. Runs great. There's that one crack in the windshield here I was telling you about, and one here. Looks like they replaced it at some point and put a new rubber seal, but now it's needing replacement again. We'll do that again. They did the jams really well when they did everything. Ding in the door right there. And that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a test drive here down the road. Take you down the road and back and show you everything. Man, it's a pretty truck. It's a blast to drive. Um, here we go. I'm gonna... The steering wheel is a little loose. Got tilt steering though. Does it work? It works too. So, and I don't know what the steering column's out of. Pretty cool though. Okay, here we go. Get this thing adjusted here. Don't want people to freak out. It's 40 miles an hour here. I'm going 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it some juice around a couple corners. Absolute blast to drive. Nice throaty pipes. You just can't beat it. I'm going to put this down a little bit here while I turn around. Well, we'll be okay.
not gonna make it. I should have went farther down, but that lady was there. That's okay, you'll get to see a three-point turn. And just give it a nice half throttle, man, it goes. Check out my website, it's cerealmarshmallows.com, www.cerealmarshmallows.com. Click on blog and you'll see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. And other than that, give me a call. My name is Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up here and give you a one last little walk around to where you can see anything else you think you didn't see. And um, 406-544-6919. Name's Nathan. You can also go to MissoulaAutoAuction.com. Got a lot of stuff on there. Make sure and check out the website and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I always get neat, unique, cool stuff. I sell it cheap. I sell it fast. I just love cars. Um, this one here will be on eBay this week. In fact, I think it's already listed and I just got to post the video. But um, give me a call anytime. Thank you very much for watching. Nathan, 406 Five four four six nine one nine, and look at that paint shine. It's like it's always wet. Um, someone wet sanded this thing a lot when they were done, and it looks good. It looks great. That's pretty much it. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Thanks for watching, and make sure and give me a call. Four zero six five four four six nine one nine.